So, hi, very good evening, everyone. Cloud Native API Management on Kubernetes. Say, I need to get a list of products or need to know the details of a particular product. I have created a small microservice. So I have deployed that in this product's microservice in my Kubernetes cluster. Now, my requirement is to deploy that or expose that product's microservice via an API. To that, I'm using my WSO2 micro gateway. So as a developer, I'll be executing a set of commands, and then I have my product's microservice deployed in WSO2 micro gateway, and at the same time, in the API manager portal as the product's API. So as an app developer, I can consume the product's API in the application API management portal, or as an application user, I can consume the product's API in the WSO2 micro gateway. So as you can see, we support hybrid deployment. That is, you can have your gateway in your Kubernetes cluster and run your API manager portal in the Google Cloud. OK, so let's see how we can do this. As I said, I have created all the resources, and I'm going to deploy my products microservice. So it's getting executed, and I have just deployed my products microservice. If I list the services, it's still pending. Until it gets available, I'll show you the WS2 API Manager developer portal. At the moment, I don't have any APIs available, but this is the portal you're using when you want to consume an API. And this is the publisher which you can use to create APIs. You have several options. You can design a new REST API from the scratch, or you can create an uh, REST API using an existing REST endpoint or using a Swagger definition. And you have the option to create a SOAP API using a SOAP endpoint. And you have another option to create a GraphQL API. And there's one last option you can try out, which you can create a WebSocket API. So let's see. Now I have the products microservice available. Now I'm going to invoke that product microservice. And I'm going to change the external IP. And here you see a list of products. This is my products microservice. And say, if you want to get the details of a particular product, I'm using this product ID. And then, yeah, it gives you the details only of that particular product. Now, what I want to do is expose this product's microservice via an API. So what I'm going to do is just execute a couple of commands. Before that, I'll show you the Swagger definition I'm going to use. So this is the Swagger file I'm going to use to deploy the products API in my micro gateway. And see, this is the uh, microservices URL, which I'm using as the backend. Now, I'm going to deploy my API to the micro gateway. Here, as you can see, I'm using the same Swagger file, which I just showed you. OK, now, if you list the services, you can see that there's another services service running here as the products API. That is the API I just deployed via the micro gateway. So 
Now, if we try to invoke this, it's still pending. OK, until that is available, I'm going back to the slides. And now we are here. We have deployed the products API via my micro gateway. Now we are going to deploy the products API via API manager portal. In order to do that, we need to create a project and import the API via the Swagger file. I'll show you how to do that. OK, so now we have the products API, which is in the micro gateway. So I'm going to invoke it and see. I'm changing the external IP, copying the external IP of the products API, which is deployed in the micro gateway. And as you can see, you will be getting 401 unauthorized response. That means you need to have an access token in order to invoke this API. Let's see how we can get the access token. So now I'm going to do this. We have the micro gateway. Now I'm going to exp expose the API via the API manager portal. I'm going to create a project for that. Same products. I'm using the same Swagger file, and the project has been initialized. And then what I'm going to do is, uh, when we create the project, it will create some foiled hierarchy. And under meta information, you can find this API.tml file, which is the basic definition. Here, as the status, you see the API status is created. That means you are in the development state. So as an application user, I need to consume this API. So I need to get this API into production state in order to get this consumed. So I'm changing the status to published. OK, saving the ML file. And now I'm going to import the API to my API manager. OK, it says you have successfully imported the API. Now, we have deployed our API into both the API manager portal and the micro gateway. Let me show you it in the developer portal. Earlier, I showed you that there are no APIs available in my developer portal. Now I am refreshing my developer portal. And you could see that the API I just published. Going inside the API, I'm going to log into the developer portal. And this is the API. I'm going to subscribe to those, this API via the uh, products application in order to consume this API. And when you go to applications and under products applications, when you go to the subscription, you can see my API under subscriptions list. So now, I think you remember that when we tried to invoke this API, you got 401 unauthorized response. So now I'm going to generate an access token to that subscribed API. OK, I have generated the token. It's a JWT token, actually. So I'm copying the token and going to set it to the console in order to use it. OK. So then if you try to get that token, it will come out. So now I'm going to list out the services. And I have the products API available. Now I'm going to invoke the API with the 
token I just generated. Oops, sorry. Okay, let me copy the command again. Okay. I need to get the external IP of the products API. I'm copying it back here. Okay, here we are getting error connecting to the backend until the connection issue is getting sorted. I'll show you the API manager stats. When you invoke an API as a uh, API owner, you need to know these stats. That means you need to know how, how many invocations happens, how many subscriptions are there for your API, likewise. So you can use API Manager Analytics. There, I'll show you. Uh, since this is a fresh installation, I don't have much data, so I have taken a couple of screenshots beforehand in order to show you. So you can see total API count, total application count, how many subscriptions are there for your API, and total signups, likewise. And total API creators, application creators, total subscriptions, likewise. And then you can see more. How many APIs created over time? How many applications created over time? And then who are the top user agents? And top platforms, whether uh, Ubuntu or those are like or operating systems. And you can see the subscriptions happened over time, and the developer signups happened over time. And the overall API usage, how many invocations happens for a particular API. These are set of dashboards. I just have show some sample dashboards which you can use. So let's go back to the console and see whether the connection issue has been solved. OK, we are still getting the connection issue. Uh, what I need to show is there's some cool thing. Uh, you can set how many replicas uh, need to be available for a particular uh, deployment. So I have uh, the products API, and I have set the maximum pods up to five. At the moment, I have on, only one replica available. So when you run a lot test and a lot test happening, it will be auto-scaled, and the number of replicas goes up to five. So that the load will be handled by five of them. So let me try one more time to see. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, we couldn't see the response because we are getting some connection issues here. But uh, from here, you could able to see the response you see originally from uh, by directly calling to the microservice. So likewise, uh, to summarize, what you what I did is. Initially, I had the products microservice. And then what I did is executing a couple of commands. I deployed the products API via my micro gateway, which runs inside the Kubernetes cluster. And then at the same time, I deployed my products API via my API manager portal, which runs in the cloud. So as the application developers, and the application uses, you can consume in uh, the products API uh, via both the manner, in the API manager portal or via the micro gateway. Thank you so much.